In January 2010, Google started a research and development facility called Google X to invent and launch moonshot technologies that aim to make the world a radically better place. Over the years to follow, the team at X started working on many projects and on 10th of August 2015, when Google announced to restructure the company and make a new parent entity called Alphabet, X spun out as a new subsidiary along with Google and so did some of the flagship projects of X. Most of us know that Alphabet offers Google Search, YouTube and Android, but there's a lot to Alphabet than just Google. As of 2020, Alphabet has more than 11 subsidiaries other than Google and all of them are working on projects not related to internet like Google. Hello guys, I'm Jayesh and you're watching Hustlers TV. In this video, we will see exciting projects Google's parent company Alphabet is working on. First company on the list is Wing. Project Wing initially started as a Google X project but in July 2018 became an independent Alphabet company. Wing develops technology for drone-based delivery of freight. The company completed their first real-world deliveries in 2014 and has operations in Australia, United States and Finland. As of January 2019, Wing began delivering takeout food and beverages out of its test facility in Bonnethan, Australia as part of a pilot program. The same year in April, Wing became the first drone delivery company to receive an air operator certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration to allow it to operate as an airline in the United States. Second company in the list is Loon. Project Loon also began as a research and development project by X but later spun out into a separate entity in 2018. Billions of people around the world are still without internet access. Loon's mission is to connect those people with the internet. Loon is a network of balloons traveling on the edge of space delivering connectivity to people in unserved and undeserved communities around the world. The company uses high altitude balloons in the stratosphere at an altitude of 18 kilometers to create an aerial wireless network which speeds up to 1 Mbps. Project Loon has started operation in some parts of Africa. Third company in the list is Calico. Calico, short for California Life Company, is a biotech company founded in 2013 by Bill Maris and is backed by Google with the goal of combating aging and associated diseases such as neurodegeneration and cancer. Calico's mission is to harness advanced technologies to increase our understanding of the biology that controls lifespan and thereby help humans live more healthy life free from diseases. In Google's 2013 founders letter, Larry Page described Calico as a company focused on health, well-being and longevity. Fourth company on the list is Malta. Malta was started in July 2017 as a X project to develop renewable energy storage by utilizing tanks of molten salt but later in 2018 it became an independent subsidiary of Alphabet. The Malta energy storage system takes electricity from the grid irrespective of the source of electricity be it wind, solar or conventional power plant. It converts and stores that electricity as heat and then converts it back to electricity to be redistributed on the electricity grid as and when needed. In charge mode, the system operates as a heat pump storing electricity as heat in molten salt. In discharge mode, the system operates as a heat engine using the stored heat to produce electricity. The goal of Malta is to provide a better way to enable cleaner renewable electricity on the grid. The fifth company on the list is Waymo. Waymo originated in 2009 as Google X Project Chauffeur also known as Google self-driving car project. Later in December 2016, it spun out into a standalone company called Waymo. Waymo provides autonomous driving technology and its mission is to make it safe and easy for people and things to get where they are going. The Waymo driver can improve the world's access to mobility while saving thousands of lives now lost to traffic crashes. Waymo began testing autonomous minivans without a safety driver on public roads in Chandler, Arizona in October 2017. According to a Waymo report, by January 2020, Waymo driverless cars have gone through 20 million miles of driving on public roads. Waymo became the first company to receive a permit that allows day and night testing on public road and highways in California. As of July 2019, Waymo was permitted by California regulators to transport passengers in its vehicle. The sixth company on the list is Dandelion. 
Dandelion is another Google X project that spun out into an independent company. The Dandelion Energy Home Geothermal System replaces your home's existing air conditioning and heating equipment with a powerful heat pump and safe underground pipes that move heat between the earth and your home. It takes advantage of the fact that whether it's winter or scorching summer, the ground 5 feet below the surface maintains a constant temperature year around. This constant earth temperature is higher than the average winter temperature and lower than the average summer temperature. How this system works is, in the winter, the ground loops move heat stored in the ground into your home and in the summer, the ground loops return heat from your home to the ground. As of 2020, the company has started installation in upstate New York. Apart from these six subsidiaries, Alphabet has several other companies working on brick problems like Sidewalk Labs, which aims at creating smart cities, Verily, R&D company focusing on life science, DeepMind Technologies working on artificial intelligence, Google Fiber providing high-speed internet access in the US, and more. Even though most of these companies are burning cash and Google is the only subsidiary of Alphabet making them money, all these companies are working on problems which can have more lasting impact on human lives and can improve our life significantly. Let me know in the comments section which company of Alphabet gets you excited about the future. That's it for today guys. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends on Facebook and Reddit. If you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel and do check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.